friends, it's Gwen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do quick reviews of Jen Bennett, two books, Alex Approximately, and her new release, Starry Eyes. I loved both of these. They're very different plot-wise, but I love pretty much the same things about them, including the writing, the characters, the setting, and so forth. So let's go ahead and start talking about Alex Approximately. If you don't know what this story is about, I recommend staying away from the synopsis here on the inside because it does spoil you for the story. However, I think it's quite obvious as you're reading it who is who and what's going on and what's going to happen in the end but you just have to like jump on the roller coaster and like go for the ride because I really think that you'll enjoy it. So we follow our main character Bailey. She is moving across the country from Washington DC to California. Um, she's been spending quite a few months um, talking to this California native Alex online because they're both classic movie buffs and they chat in this chat room um, for classic movies and Alex has invited Bailey for the summer to view this uh, movie North by Northwest. Um, unbeknownst to him, she's moving out to California. She's not just going to be visiting her dad for the summer. She's made the permanent move and she doesn't tell him and she's trying to decide how to tell him that she's been out there and if she's going to tell him but kind of the reason why she's struggling with that is because number one, she wants to make sure, like she wants to find Alex before. She's like, ha, huh, here I am. She wants to make sure that it's like a good move to do. Um, the second thing is she starts this um, job at this tourist trap museum that her dad like gets her. And it sounds like such a cool, fun summer job. And I just, I loved that aspect of it. She meets friends there and so forth. But then there's this security guard that she becomes like arch nemesis with. But the more that she gets to know Porter, the security guard, she kind of starts falling for him. And she has to decide whether she's going to follow through with Porter and ditch Alex or whether she's going to like let things go with Porter to continue her online relationship with Alex. And I just, I loved the story. I loved knowing as the reader what was going to happen and just kind of being there to discover how the characters are going to figure it out. Um, it was a little frustrating because you do know and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so obvious, like figure it out. But what I loved about the story was the setting. It's set on like a beach in California, this little town, and um, there's museums and there's little touristy shops and stuff like that. Such a realistic like slice of life in California um, and then like during the summertime but the characters are also very real um, there's surfers and there's you know like the high school kids and the different cliques and stuff like that and um, I just I loved that aspect of it so much also um, it does talk about masturbation and sex in a healthy consensual way which is pretty rare for YA. A lot of people were grossed out by the masturbation but um, these characters are in their late teens so it is something that happens. Um, so yeah if that's something that turns you off it's a very small portion of this book but it is in there so I do want to forewarn you. Um, I just thought that the friendship and the family dynamics um, because Bailey does go live with her dad and he's a single dad but he is starting to date somebody and just kind of like that whole thing. I just thought it was really done well and I really liked the ending. I liked the different families, the different side characters and I just overall really enjoyed the story. And now let's move on to Starry Eyes, Jim Bennett's newest release. I did unbox this in my uppercase subscription box for April and I pretty much read it right away after reading Alex approximately. I did do a weekend reading vlog of reading these. It was my first weekend reading vlog. So if you're more interested in my immediate thoughts and how fast I flew through both of these books, definitely check that video out. I will try to remember to link it in the card section for you. So this is also set in California. It also has very realistic characters because the characters in Jen Bennett stories, at least these two, they're, the way they look is very it's given to you exactly what they look like. So you can picture them as like realistic people. They also have hobbies and um, little like characteristics about them that make them unique. Um, but I loved the little hobby aspect and I loved knowing them. It felt like they were real people. This is also set in California, 
but it's set in like the rugged outback mountainous area of California. So I loved it that they're both set in California, but like two totally different parts of California. Um, this tells the story of Zori and Lennon. Um, Zori and her stepmom and dad own this one business and they're like neighbors, like the building touches and it's like divided. So in the other half of this building is, um, Lennon and his two moms and Zori and Lennon used to be best friends but all you know is that there was this great experiment and that at homecoming last year they haven't been friends since. So you're trying to find out like in the story like what happened, what is this great experiment, what happened at homecoming um, that they're now like mortal enemies and they don't talk at all. So it kind of opens up the story, letting us know a little bit about Zori and um, her life and her parents and stuff like that. She goes and how the families don't get along. Um, she gets sent over to Lennon's mom's shop to pick up this piece of mail that got misdelivered and she takes it back and she looks at it and it's this it's this photo book of her dad and another woman and she decides to keep it hidden from her stepmom. And then and, and, and at the same time, you kind of notice that, like, Zori and her dad don't seem as close as the set mom and Zori. And I don't know. It was just, like, very interesting family dynamic going on. Um, Zori ends up going on this. A whole group of friends from, like, high school end up going on this camping trip. Well, really, this glamping trip. And lo and behold, Lennon ends up on this camping trip as well. And because of some of the events that transpire during this glamping trip... They end up breaking up and going their separate ways. A lot of them go back home, but Lennon and Zori are stranded together. Um, they haven't talked since homecoming of last year, and you're not really sure why or what went down, um, but they both know about the photo book because they have both seen it and stuff like that. So um, over the course of them trying to figure out how to get from point A to point B, um, whether they're going to make it to the star party that Zori's trying to go to or whether they're trying to make it to uh, the next ranger station so they can go home. Um, they're traveling, they're hiking, they're camping together in the outback and in the mountains and they're fighting each other, they're fighting mother nature and you're just kind of finding everything that happened a lot of it does have to do with miscommunication I think that's pretty prevalent in YA a lot of characters this age do have problems communicating um, for various reasons um, but I didn't find it frustrating at all I found it actually rather refreshing so you find out what happened then and what's gonna happen now and just kind of you see them kind of reconnecting in a way that I don't think either one of them saw coming again really realistic characters really great setting and I just I loved everything about it so I ended up reading both of these stories five stars they're both contemporary stories that if you like contemporary I think you will enjoy Jim Bennett does have two other releases that came before Alex approximately I haven't read them but they're on my wish list and I hope to pick them up soon because I read these super fast I loved the writing style I loved the characters there wasn't really anything about these that I would point out and say hey I didn't like that everything is handled in a very like healthy consensual way and that's something refreshing I think to see in YA so that's all for today's video and today's review. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye!